by Love Gus. I was living with him in Pasadena with our friend Brennan Savage. And me and Brennan were um, kind of roasting Gus because he, because he had that song, Beamer Boy. But he actually at the time like had never driven a car. So we were roasting him about it. We were like, oh, like you can't even drive a Beamer if you got one. So he's like, you know what? I'm gonna get in the car right now. I'm gonna show you guys. So we got in Brennan's car and uh, he like pulls out and he starts like driving it. And it was like some student driver shit. Like he's just like, just like stopping and everything. And if he was here, he'd probably like argue with me about it. But uh, me and Brennan were just laughing the whole time and like was low key scared. The Hellboy peep tape. Some shit was like legendary, like uh, Hell Cry Baby and Hellboy. Cry Baby was dead amazing. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. I started listening to him when he dropped Hellboy, but that shit was like, nigga, we bumped that tape to this day. I listened to him when uh, that shit is fire. Live Forever dropped. Whoever I showed it to, they they thought it was like too sad. But then <laughs> when like, yeah, they thought it was too yeah. sad. And then when he started like progressing as an artist. Everybody started liking it, which I understood. I was like, wow, he's starting to make, like, he's connecting to everybody now. Mm -hmm. like, even, like, fire. Bro, lyrics, you relate to everything he said. He said it so perfectly, where you were just like, damn, bro. Like, especially when he talked about girls, he was like, yeah, yeah. all that shit made sense. He was, making, he was making that shit sound cool as fuck. I feel like he, he's, like, a legend because of what he brought to the game. Because he, like, he'd mix with, like, the, like, the, like emo and like punk shit with like rap, you know? And I feel like that opened a lot of doors to people. Like whether it be like experimental hip hop or whatever the fuck you want to call it, but that nigga's a legend. Uh, he will live on forever. There's influence in his shit in everyone's music. I don't care what you say. So rest in peace, Lil Peep, fam. Lil Peep, that guy radiated this energy that I have never felt with any other human being in my entire life. Just being around him, it just, I don't know what it was, but it was just, you feel, you feel it. You just feel, you just feel good. And, and also you just feel kind of sad. You know, I've kind of felt a little sad for him because I knew he was going through a lot, you know, and I really related to him. He was like the first, every time I would have like a panic attack, I would be like, yo, bro, I'm having a panic attack. What the fuck do I do? He's like, dude, I feel you, bro. I'm always having those panic attacks. And we just talk and laugh about it, you know? He's a good guy, he makes amazing music, and uh, he changed a lot of people's lives, man. And I just remember what like a sweet person he was. I remember like, you know, I mean with Peep it just goes way back, because I knew him when he was on Zero, and I remember somebody just hit me up and was like, hey, check out this music video, you might be down to premiere on a No Jumper, and I don't know, with Peep it's like he was such a sensitive, like kind person, that just, the more and more that he got exposed to all the evils of the world, it was just the more and more like heartbreaking in a weird way, even though it was amazing to see him just transcend like the, the scene that he was a part of and just become so huge. Lil Peep, man, Lil Peep changed the game, bro. He was like, you know, he brought that, you know, the sad things always been around, but he brought that like sad rock and he mixed it with like trap and then he mixed the trap with like rock, but like not too much. It was crazy, like, you know, he had his own thing. He brought his own wave into the shit, and that shit's fire. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he never gave a fuck what nobody thinks. You know what I'm saying? So, he's a definitely like a legend. I guess you could say he's a legend, and like, he definitely influenced music in a way. Um, Lil Peep's been special. Yeah. Lil Peep's been special. I I knew Lil Peep since um like I slept at Lil Peep's house. Like me and Lil Peep went through beef, like a lot of shit. Like Lil Peep's been special. Lil Peep's been fire. And me looking from a fan's perspective, I was like, he's one been of my fire. favorite artist, bro. From he's the start. been fire. Like, from Lil Peep's been had something about him. Changed lives. Peep should have been been bigger than what he was. And Rest up, Peep, bro. A legend, for sure. He was, he was, uh, he was fun, and we just had a great time. We just really understood each other, and we kind of understood time and you know the stars and you know all that fun stuff it was very just magical and it was just like somebody who could uh do magic as well because it's just not the same because it's like you know i can say i do magic all day and people will be like they don't know how to do magic and it's like they don't get it but then it's like 
you have another magician who's like, oh, I do magic too because I did this, 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 this out of this. And it's like, wow, you know, amazing. Now let's go do, you know, more out of more. So we were just, we were just happy and, you know, just couldn't get enough of just hanging out. Like time just didn't feel like it was time, you know, with him. I would describe him as colorful. Like he just, like a, you're a rainbow. It's, everybody loves rainbows. When you see it, it's like, oh, look. You know what I mean? That's how I describe you. It will eventually get better. Things will get better. And also, you have to be grateful for what you have. Never be ungrateful. It's when people start to be super, you know, like, oh, I hate my life. Everything sucks. But it's like you got shoes in your feet right now. You know what I mean? There's kids who don't have water, access to water in the world. So pretty much, yeah, there's people fighting to survive. So, you know, live, live, on, live on for them. You know what I mean? Live the life that they wish they could live.